Hello, Phil Burrell from Yarra UK. I am the area manager for Lincolnshire and Nottinghamshire. Just want to talk to you today about the Yarra N sensor. Why would you consider variable rate nitrogen? For me, it's all about increasing nitrogen use efficiency. Where we see the biggest impacts to that is where there is a large amount of variation in your farming system. So that could be soil type, certainly where you have variation within fields. Uh, and also the big advantage of variable rate nitrogen is where you are applying uh, organic manures that contain high amounts of readily available nitrogen. So things like uh, pig manures and poultry manures uh, and certainly some digestates that are out there uh, in the marketplace. Um, and by varying our nitrogen, we're basically ensuring we're putting the right amount where it's needed so we're not under applying and having a yield penalty. And conversely, we don't want to be over applying um, and having a yield penalty th through, through lodging. Um, so that's why you would look at variable rate nitrogen, um, but ultimately increasing nitrogen use efficiency, um, wh which is all the name of the game. So why would you choose the RN sensor? Firstly, the end sensor has been around for 20 years. During this time, there's been a considerable investment in research and development. Each year we conduct field scale trials that allows us to input the latest agronomic algorithms into the, into the system. Also with the system being track mounted in real time, there is no delay. So you are not waiting for clear satellite imagery. You are not waiting for maps to be produced. Um, you literally go in the field, press some buttons and start applying. With it having its own light source, so ALS stands for active light source, it means it is also not affected by sunlight. So for those times of the year when wind is an issue and we're having to go out and apply at daft o'clock in the morning, it will still work. So there is no, there is no issue. The other thing to say about the end sensor is the algorithms are crop specific. Um, and if we just have a look at a few examples. So if we first look at oilseed rape, the absolute end calibration on oilseed rape um, determines the nitrogen rate by the green area indexed. So the bigger the crop, the less nitrogen it needs because it's already taken that nitrogen up from the soil. If we look at this example, this field is around 180 acres. On the left hand side you can see there's a straight edge. That is a disused railway line which is a habitat for rabbits amongst other things. The rabbits generally like to eat the crop. So on that side of the field when the ore seed rate was established the farmer applied some poultry manure pre-drilling. The first map, the yellow and green map, is showing the biomass at the first nitrogen application at the end of February. You can see where the, the biomass is greener, the, cr the, the, the crop is bigger. So the second map, the first blue map in the middle, shows the nitrogen applications on pass one. You can see to the line where the end sensor has cut back the nitrogen applied to the left hand side of the field where the poultry muck was, was applied pre-drilling. On the right hand side is the final application map and you can see it's slightly more even. But ultimately if we drill down into the data, the left hand side of the field has had 140 kilograms of applied nitrogen the right hand side of the field has had 200 kilos. That was determined by the end sensor, nothing else. So you can see quite a substantial fertilizer saving. If we then look at winter wheat, an example I've just used is two fields that were, that were next to each other. Um, both fields were drilled with the same variety on the same day. Both fields had an application of poultry manure. And if we use computer systems to determine the nitrogen available from that poultry manure on the back of the, the, the manure analysis, you can see it should give around 28 kilos of available nitrogen. So all things being equal, both fields should have the same total nitrogen. As you will see, one field has actually had 26 kilos more nitrogen. So had we just used the standard book figures, we potentially would have under fertilized that field or conversely, we could have over fertilized the field next door thus increasing lodging risk. If we under fertilise, yield penalty. So just a couple of examples. So to summarise what the end sensor delivers, it delivers real-time sensing with the latest crop algorithms. 
It can be used on both solid and liquid fertilizer systems. Over the years, we've seen a three to 5% yield increase. We have also seen anecdotal evidence from operators that we can increase combine output, sometimes up to 15% due to crops being more even. And finally, we see fertilizer savings. Again, dependent on the system and poultry manures and pig manures, etc., in the system, up to 14% fertilizer savings. Ultimately, this leads to an increased nitrogen use efficiency, which is what Yara is all about with sustainable use of fertilizers. So for more information, please head over to the website or contact your local area manager. Thank you.